Three members of the Rajapaksa family appeared in court today in relation to several matters. Former Speaker Chamal Rajapaksa filed a writ petition with the Court of Appeal seeking to prevent the Urban Development Authority from taking over the land in which the CSN operated in Batramulla without a justifiable reason. He filed the petition as the chair of the DA Rajapaksa Foundation and pointed out that the Urban Development Authority has in fact given the land to the foundation on a 30-year lease. The Court of Appeal, which took the petition into consideration, issued notices on the respondents, including the Director General of the UDA, to appear in court on the 5th of May. Former Secretary of Defence Gotha Biraj Paksa appeared before the Colombo Chief Magistrates Court today in relation to a case filed by the Bribery Commission. The Bribery Commission filed a case citing that by permitting the avant-garde maritime services to operate a floating armory, the state had incurred a loss of 11.4 billion rupees. Cases were filed against eight of the respondents and today they submitted their preliminary objections. The Attorney General informed court that counter objections need to be submitted and oral presentations have to be made. Thereby, the case was postponed to the 29th of May. Former Minister Basil Rajapaksa appeared at the Colombo High Court today in relation to the case filed for misappropriating 29.4 million rupees belonging to the Divinagun Department by using the funds to print 5 million almanacs during the 2015 presidential election. Basil Rajapaksa was released on a cash bail of 100,000 rupees and two sureties of 500,000 rupees each. Indictments were presented in the open court in relation to the matter and the case will be taken up on the 24th of May. The case filed against four persons including former Minister Basil Rajapaksa for the misappropriation of 2.991 billion rupees belonging to the Divinagbudi Department was moved to the number one high court in Colombo. When the case was taken up today, President's Counsel Anil De Silva, appearing on behalf of Basil Rajapaksa, said, As High Court Judge Gihant Kulatunga is also serving as a commissioner to the Presidential Commission to inquire into serious acts of fraud or corruption, his client is against the fact the case is being taken up before the said judge. Thereby, the case was moved to High Court Number no. 1. The case will be taken up again on the 29th of March. <laughs> that is how it is. You can call it good governance. We will face it. We will not step back. We have faith in our attorneys. <laughs> Thank you.